Hi, and welcome to the curriculum preview for third grade for the six six weeks. You only have one unit of study this six weeks, so you have lots of time um, to look at how artists and writers impact society. You have 30 instructional days, and this fits in with your research in language arts. So here's your pacing guide. One way would be um, you know, to give a week to each of the people listed. Um, this is a little flexible depending on how you're going to um, do this project. Um, if you would like a thinking partner to plan this unit or are looking for resources um, and would in, well, like some instructional support, please let me know. Um, you can reach me at dawn.fielder at burgleschools.net or you can give me a call at extension 5680. So here are guiding questions, our key vocabulary, our key people, your librarian um, could be a super helpful resource um, on this unit. Um, Teresa has given them a heads up and so uh, they can help you track down some of the books that and um, were written or illustrated uh, by the people listed in the teaks. So first we have Kadir Nelson. Um, I love his illustrations. Um, his books are just beautiful. He is an oil painter. And um, here are a bunch of, uh, these are hyperlinks to videos and websites. Um, his book, Ellington Was Not a Street, is uh, a poem um, about a little girl who grew up during the Jazz Age, and um, there's a Discovery streaming video of it. Uh, I love this first interview here by Kadir Nelson. Um, he talks about how he played college basketball and also was an artist, and um, you know that you can be more than one thing. You can be artistic and athletic. You can care about uh, school and care about sports. Our next person is pa Tommy DePaula. You're probably very familiar with him. Um, Charlie Needs a Cloak is one of his books with lots of economic concepts in it. Um, his Streganona series. Uh, and there are a lot of great digital resources for Tommy DePaula as well. Um, a bunch of his videos are on United Streaming under the title Telling Stories with Tommy. Um, and then these are some websites and these two are videos of Tommy. And then there's also the Tommy Award, which is given um, to illustrators, uh, an illustrator each year. And the winner is determined by Tommy DePaula. Phyllis Wheatley is um, another one of the people from the Teaks. Um, and so this is just uh, some things about her. Um, she's probably going to be the most difficult for your students to research. Um, and uh, her writing is going to be the least probably accessible to them since her poetry uh, was written in the, 17, uh, the 1800s. So, um, or the late 1700s. Um, but she uh, was born in Senegal, in Africa, and was sold into slavery at seven and taken to America. So here are some resources. This is a kid-friendly biography. This is a link to her poem. This website, um, there is a monument to Phyllis Wheatley, and it's about that. And then um, there is a quick video clip about her in Discovery Streaming. Carmen Lomas Garza is an artist and illustrator um, who uh, is very focused on um, uh, Mexican-American family heritage and um, representing culture in her work. So these are some, um, some links, an interview, and a video about her art and her official website, and then this is an article from Texas Monthly um, about Carmen Lomas Garza. Next is Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, I do have to say I have a huge soft spot in my heart for Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, 
being born in the 70s, I loved the TV show, um, Little House on the Prairie. I was madly in love with Almanzo, um, and I read these books as a little girl and deeply fell in love with them. Um, I have, you know, from time to time, um, heard that these books are more for girls than boys, but um, in particular, Little House in the Big Woods um, involves uh, a bear coming into the family farm, a pig slaughter that goes into really gross detail that I have found that second and third grade boys really enjoy. Um, they talk about frying the pigtail and how it still stays springy. Um, there uh, is a panther, um, a lot of hunting and, and, and wilderness adventure. So um, this might be a good access point uh, for boys on Laura Ingalls Wilder. Also, Farmer Boy, which is um, Almanzo's uh, book about um, him. I mean, it's written by uh, Laura Ingalls, um, but uh, it's about Almanzo. And then Garth Williams, the illustrator of all these books, um, also illustrated Charlotte's Web, um, but uh, he's a guy. So that might be another way to um, to catch um, boys' interest on Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, so here are some uh, resources for you. Um, there's a timeline, and the Little House on the Prairie website um, has stuff about the TV show and the book. Um, but here, the Laura Ingalls Wilder road trip, I think one of the things that is can be so powerful for kiddos is that Laura Ingalls Wilder was a real person. And some of, and although it's fictionalized, some of the events um, in the book are true. And her the places that she lived actually existed. So some, some people have put together um, a road trip that goes through all the places um, that Laura Ingalls has lived. Now, it is on my bucket list to do this road trip. Um, my family, however, uh, is not as big into Laura Ingalls Wilder as I am, so this road trip in my house has been compared to torture. So um, I wish you better luck on getting to go on that road trip than, than I have gotten. But um, regardless, I hope all that information is helpful. Bill Martin Jr. is also listed in Artiques, and as you can see from all those books that surround him, that um, we're very familiar with a lot of his books, um, and they should be in your library. Here are some websites. Um, the Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? videos from YouTube. Uh, the Reading Rockets interview will give them a chance um, to see and hear uh, Bill Martin Jr. Last here is your uh, blueprint for the CBA. Um, I wanted to make sure that um, you had that in plenty of time. And you can see that all the questions are from Unit 8 and Unit 9. Um, I also wanted to promote this summer, July, in July 12th and 13th. Um, I'm going to have an outside um, consultant come in and do some integration training for 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade. It'll be July 12th and 13th, and I'll send out an email when that gets into Edgeforia. But I just wanted to give you kind of like a save the date. Um, S3 Social Studies Strategies is coming, and they put together really great stuff. The first day um, is uh, going to be into uh, integrating language arts and social studies, and the second day is building historical inquiry. Um, but they'll both be a lot about um, visual literacy and teaching language arts through social studies. So I hope you're able to attend those trainings, and I hope you've had a great year. If there's anything I can do to help support your students, and if you have any special social studies events going on, please let me know. I'd love to come help or come celebrate what you and your students are doing. Have a great day.